101. An RLC series circuit has a 2.5 ohm resistor, 100 microhenry inductor, and an 80 uh, microfarad capacitor. Letter A. Oh my god, there's like 18... Pro okay. Find the circuit's impedance at 120 kilohertz. Impedance. Variable is E. It is equal to then the square root of the resistance squared plus then the difference between the reactive inductance and the reactive capacitance squared. Now they didn't tell us the reactive part, so we're going to have to do some substitutions. We remember that from the last chapter now, that the induct, not chapter, last section, that the, uh, I'm losing my mind, that the uh, inductive uh, reactance here, the reactive inductance, has this formula, 2 pi multiplied by the frequency multiplied by the inductance. And that whole thing then is going to be subtracted from now 1 over the reactive capacitance, which is 2 pi times the frequency times the capacitance. And that will then be squared. All right. So now we should have enough information we need to solve the problem. So here we go. Square root. The resistance was uh, 2.5. That's what they gave to us in the problem. Plus now this is going to be 2 pi times the frequency of 120 hertz. No conversions are necessary there. Times the inductance. And the inductance was uh, one micro, 100 microhenry. So that's 100 times 10 to the minus sixth. Okay. That whole thing now is subtracted. Let's extend this on out across the entire screen. Um, that now is going to be subtracted from, right? So maybe instead of this parenthesis here, oops, 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 oops. Maybe instead of this parenthesis, I'm going to turn it into a bracket so it stands out a little more. And then that's going to be now one over two pi times the frequency of six, uh, 120 times and the capacitance. And they told us it was a microfarad. So this is going to be 80 times 10 to the minus sixth. Okay. After you find that difference, you got to square it. So let's do it, right? So let's do, I'm going to do in the parentheses, for, you know, the 2 pi times the 120 times the 100 times 10 to the minus sixth. Okay, got my answer. Now it's minus. I'm going to do a parenthesis here. 1 divided by another parenthesis, 2 pi times then 120 times then 80 times 10 to the minus 6. I'm going to close both parentheses. The difference is about negative 16.5, but then you're going to square it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that value and you're going to then add it now. You're going to add that to the 2.5 squared. And then you're going to square root the whole darn thing. All right, so this works out to be about 16. 0.7. So this is 16.7 uh, ohms. All right. And that is then the impedance. All right, let's move on to letter B. So it says find the circuit impeded at 5 kilohertz. So we're not going to write it all out again because the only thing that's going to change is the uh, frequency here, right? So this is now 5 times 10 to the uh, third. Okay. And then this is going to be 5 times 10 to the third as well. Everything else stays the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and enter that piece of information back into the calculator, and I'm just going to uh, manipulate that. All right. Actually, oh, I did it in steps. Mm. All right, I got to plug it all back in. So this is 2 pi times then 5 times 10 to the third times 100 times 10 to the minus sixth, okay? Then we're going to subtract that now from parentheses, one divided by another parentheses, two pi, times five times 10 to the third, times 80 times 10 to the minus sixth. Close the double parentheses, got about 2.74, then I'm going to square it. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to 2.5 squared, the resistance, right? And then I got to square root the whole thing. All right, so this works out to be about 3.11, uh, 3.71. So 3.71, okay? And that's again in terms of ohms. Sorry. This problem is exhausting already. That's B. Let's see. Uh, let us see. What voltage source has, if the voltage source <laughs> has a, a root mean square voltage of 560, what is the root mean square current? At each, oh my God, at each frequency. All right, so 
here's the formula we need. The current, the RMS current, will be equal to the RMS voltage divided by then the impedance. So basically, I'm going to do one calculation, okay? Uh, the voltage here was 5.6, divided then by, I'm going to use this impedance first, okay? So this is 16.7. So the root mean square current here for the first impedance is going to be uh, 5.6 divided then by 16.7. I guess I'm going to use the exact value. So 5.6 divided by, let me go back and grab the number. And that works out to be about uh, 0 0.335 amps. Now that's for the first impedance, right? For the second one then here, I'm going to do this now in red. Just cancel that term. That becomes the 3.71. And you're literally going to do the same calculation. So it's 5.6 then divided by that exact answer from before. And now the root mean square current is going to be equal to 1.51 amps. All right. Letter D. What is the resonant frequency of the circuit? So letter D now we'll do over here. So resonant frequency is equal to one divided by then two pi multiplied by the square root of the inductance multiplied by the capacitance. So we just got to plug it in two pi square root of the inductance. So it was 100 micro Henry, but we need that in Henry. So that's 100 times 10 to the minus sixth. Capacitance was a microfarad, but we need that in farad. So that's going to be times then 80 times 10 to the minus sixth. All right. And then let's just calculate that. One divided by then parenthesis 2 pi times then square root of 100 times 10 to the minus sixth times then 80 times 10 to the minus sixth. And this works out to be about you know, 1.80 times 10 to the third hertz, okay? And then, oh my God, letter E, what is the R, R root mean square current? I don't even know, I'm hitting all kinds of buttons now. Uh, what is the root mean square? Uh, um, oh my God, no. Okay, so we got to do this whole calculation again. I'm not going to write it out, all right? We're just going to cancel this now number in here, and it's going to become 1.80 times 10 to the third. This is going to be 1.80 times 10 to the third. This is absolutely nuts. I thought I was exaggerating when I said, like, answer the next 17 questions, but I think there might be 17 questions in this problem. Um, so let's do the math. 2 pi. And who knows if there is a calculation mistake along the way, but we're just going to keep moving. So 2 pi times 1.8 times 10 to the third times then 100 times 10 to the minus sixth. Then I'm going to subtract out now parenthesis 1 divided by another parenthesis 2 pi times 1.8 now. And I'm, I'm using a rounded number here, but it is what it is at this point. So, so times 10 to the third, it is what it is, times 80 times 10 to the minus sixth, get that answer, and then square it, and then add it to 2.5 squared, square root that whole thing, it's basically going to be the same darn thing, this works out to be about 2.5, the frequency is relatively high, so what we have now, so we're basically very close, if you notice these two are about equal to one another now, so when they're equal, they kind of just cancel each other out, and the overall impedance of the circuit is very close to the uh, overall uh, uh, resistance. So the impedance here is going to be basically 2.5. So the root mean square current is going to be the voltage of the 5.6, of the 5.6 divided then by the 2.5. All right. And possibly if I use the exact answer here for the one point instead of the average, I, it might have worked out to be exactly zero. So, uh, meaning the difference in there. Um, so this is just 5.6 divided then by 2.5. So this is 2.24, 2.24 amps. All right. And uh, that's it. Okay.
Sure. So notice how this is basically the maximum current that can kind of flow. When it resonates, when the circuit resonates and this whole thing goes to zero, this whole term goes to zero, it's just then, and there's nothing being added, the impedance is just the resistance. And that's at the max. That'll be then the max uh, current that's produced. All right, guys, I'm out. See you later.